Hi, are you a bit worried about presenting the stud tube bearing for survey? If you are preparing for exams and you need to know this, welcome and continue. Here you can see that I will be removing the propeller and off seal, uh, jumping many steps. It is uh, presumed that you have already seen uh, the earlier video where the steps uh, for removal and refit of the propeller are discussed in detail. Please uh, do go through the video before you proceed here just in case you want it in detail and uh, you have missed the earlier video. At the end of this video, you will also get introduced to the concept of a muff coupling. What is a muff coupling? What are these advantages? You are watching Chief Engineer's Tea Time Talk and I am Ramesh, your friendly pilot who will guide you through this channel. So stand by engines, let's slow ahead and let's move on. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy the video. Here you can see that I have removed the propeller. For those who have skipped the introduction and want to see the details of propeller and off seal uh, removal, uh, please see the detailed video which I have uploaded earlier on, the link of which is given in the description below before you proceed on with this video. Now if I need to carry out uh, the stern tube inspection, obviously I need to remove the propeller shaft. So surveyor wants to see the condition of the stern tube bearing. So how do we do that? Okay, let's start. Here you see, I remove the forward seal and shift it a bit. Now I need to remove these flange bolts. Now I remove the bearing cover of the intermediate shaft. Now everything is free and the intermediate shaft can be lifted up. So here we go. The intermediate shaft is up. If we need to remove the entire stern tube, then obviously we can remove the bottom half of this intermediate shaft bearing and make way for the propeller shaft to be pulled more inside for possible work on the stone tube. Obviously, it's just if if required. Now we have enough space for the propeller shaft to be pulled inside. Quite a major part of the stone tube bearing can be inspected by the surveyor. <coughs> well, congrats. You have successfully removed the tail shaft for offering the stone tube for survey. What a job. Oof. Not easy for sure. Constraint of space, limited availability of lifting equipment, so many hardships. And after a five minute look at the stun tube bearing, the surveyor tells you, okay, okay, put it back. Hey, what the hell, a joke or what? We did so much amount of work only for this, now put it back. <laughs> so what was the objective? Why did the surveyor get satisfied with the partial sight of the stun tube, especially from the aft? Well, if at all things had gone wrong or had to go wrong, it will go wrong here. It is here that the propeller shaft is hanging like a cantilever. It is at this point in the stern tube bearing where the dynamic stresses are maximum and most likely to fail. If this is fine, it can safely be assumed that the entire stern tube further on will be perfectly fine. This area of the stern tube bearing will be inspected for cracks, defects, discoloration, etc. using die penetrants, magnetic particle test, etc. etc. as the surveyor deems fit. But then you know, uh, lazy people like me don't want to do so much work. Is there a simpler way? Can there be a much smarter way of doing these things? Yes, that is where the muff coupling comes in. Now consider this. Suppose I had a coupling here like this, which can easily be shifted, dismantled. Look, the propeller shaft has got no flange. We can easily pull the propeller shaft from outside. By the way, I can smell many of you thinking, what about removal of the rudder to do this? Yeah, obviously, the rudder needs to be removed, but it's no big deal in the yard, you know. No constraint for space, so much of equipments are available outside in the dry dock. So that is very small job for this yard guys. Working inside the engine room with available, with uh, not so 
much of space availability that is the bigger challenge now what are the advantages of this um, muff coupling now this muff coupling opens up the possibility to withdraw the withdraw the propeller shaft from aft and makes complete removal and transportation of the shaft much easier it uh, makes the uh, renewal of complete renewal of uh, forward seals much easier repairs to the propeller shaft become easier in fact you can do away with the intermediate shaft and reduce the size of the engine room thereby eliminating the additional hassles of alignment of the stern tube and uh, alignment of the intermediate shaft bearing and uh, taking care of that uh, lubrication of that intermediate shaft bearing etc etc just a additional flexibility for the designer and for the money minded fellows reduction in the size of the engine room means more cargo space means more money <laughs> correct or not so it is just an option but uh, many of the smaller ships they they have this muff coupling i don't have all these complicated mechanisms in the next video which will follow very soon we'll get into the concept construction fitting and removal of the muff coupling hope all of you found this video very useful and fruitful see you in the next video take care